Oh, yeah, I was listening. Hi. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't even do, like, current events and stuff. I ain't into current events. Never have been. They had y'all do that in school and stuff. <laughs> it's funny. They edu miseducate you. Now you have to be re-educated as an adult, so you waste your time. Take your children out of school. Don't have them be miseducated, so they have to be re-educated and, and you know, come on. So, oh, this is uh, this is about that actually. This is this is uh, an unsovereign nation. That's what we become, an unsovereign nation. That's what we are. I was born into it, so I can't say we become. We were born in into an unsovereign nation. We are not part of the United States of America. They made that clear when they initiated its founding, when they initiated its founding. I read I read the, the Dred Scott decision and I wanna read it on the <clears throat> on a, a video or something, but I don't I don't I ain't fig haven't figured out the mechanics yet, or what they call the logistics of it all. However, it's, it's very clear that the entire, and the guy even says it in there. He says, you know, the, 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 uh, what they call white, the white people of the, of, uh, of the world, period. They are not uh, cool with a nigga being unmolested, walking around free, doing whatever he want to do. They're the boy, they don't, they, mm -mm. They're not happy with that kind of attitude. That's why, you know, the shit happens in the U.S. Wherever it happens, it's all happening all around the world. The way it happens is because of that right there, right there. I just said it. If everybody don't get it, oh, it don't matter. What you, yeah, okay, whatever you say. Meanwhile, what's really happening is happening is what I'm talking about, right? So, so check this out. An unsovereign nation. We're living inside of a nation which calls itself a sovereign nation, the United States of America, as a country or something. It's not a nation, it's a country. We are a nation of people, and we are unsovereign. We haven't come together. We haven't created any kind of a sense of self, of nation. And so, you know, that's what's going on. We are an unsovereign nation. And it took me a while to figure it out because I was watching everybody and I talk about the, you know, hear people talk about the nation of Islam and stuff. It's, it, that's not a nation, that's a corporation. And then when you have to separate corporation from nation, from country, and there's one more, you get the, the next delineation. But all these word plays and stuff like that, and we, and, and that's not necessarily important. Because we realize once you move, remove all that stuff and the current events, because you know I don't do current events, that's like a waste of time. Current events is a distraction. That's all the current events are for, to keep you distracted so you don't see what's really going on in your life and nature and stuff. So they have these cuts, and them are social events. That's all about the society. What about the world, the, the actual real nature of the world? Because society is only in a person's mind. Remember that. Society is only in a person's mind, in people's mind. And people's mind is where society exists, nowhere else. It's not real. It's, it's, it's not real. It's that relationships are real. But society, that you can make that up on the fly, man, as you go along. Like relationships, you don't like somebody, you walk away. They make it up on the fly, man. This stuff's not real. It's all in your head. I like her. I don't like this. Yes, that's it. That's in your head. That's in your head. <laughs> I like him. I don't like her. That's in your head. That's in your head. That stuff's not real, man. That's in your head. It's okay. It's in your head, but recognize that's where it resides. In your head. It's not outside. It's not the real world. It's not what's really happening like a fruit or a tree or a bird and stuff. It's in your head. Right, birds got stuff in their head. They got, you know, I mean, but they, you know, hey, come on. Everything has something in its head. But that society thing is, that's why they keep you stuck on the current events and what's in the news and what's happening over there. No, no, all that stuff is unreal. It's all artificial and it's all made up. We are an un, unsovereign nation because our sovereignty 
resides in truth. Right now, we are unsovereign because we are residing in an artificial environment, an artificial society, artificial, artificial, fictitious, whatever you want to call it, fiction. You know, it's not real. <laughs> it's, it's all in your head. It's like a psych, uh, hypnosis. It's like a hypnosis. Yeah, it's like a hypnosis. So it's not real. It's not real. It's just a hypnosis. You're hypnotized to see some illusion, all that kind of stuff. And that's where we live in that world. And that's why we're not doing well, because we, uh, uh, of the nature, our nature, people talk about our nature, our nature is truth. Our nature is in truth. Try it. Get four or five of your friends together, three or four of your relatives together, even in your own household or something like that. And make a pledge to each one. Everybody makes it up, however you do it, in whatever small grouping you do. I'm saying a small grouping because I want you to be concise. Don't make a large grouping where things get all mixed up and jumbled. Make a small group, three maybe people, and always tell one another the truth no matter what. Always. And of course, always tell yourself the truth. So that's nine people actually that are telling, you know what I mean? <laughs> so this is that's how it works. Build that up, and you'll start seeing the power of that. Because a lot of people don't recognize, I mean, I just be talking stuff, I know. You got to see it. Experiment. I'm suggesting an experiment. This is it. The experiment. Experiment inside of truth. Our nation is a truthful nation. Our nature, excuse me, our nature is in truth. Our nature is with nature. Our nature is not with fiction and phony and artificial and uh, corporations, and that's not our nature. That's not even nature. Our nature is with nature. That's why when you see our people, we groove and improve, you know, most of the time. When we're outside of that society, that artificial society, we're grooving and cruising, baby. Because that's our nature, with nature. We're in nature, we, you know, nature, we're together. We ain't got no problem with one another. Nature not mad at us. Talking about, oh, we doing this. No, we are not. Our nation is not doing that. Our unsovereign nation, because there are other people running us around and we are following their laws and their, what you know, to the best of our ability, all that shit is crazy and artificial anyway. And we're trying to follow it and keep up with it and do good inside that kind of craziness, you know. And so... You know, we not that's not that's not our game. We not messing things up. If it was up to us, there would be no oil spills. If they were, they wouldn't be like that. that, that come on, man. But for what? They, that's all greed and artificiality. We know that, and we don't live like that. But we, don't, in our nation, we, you know, we are unsovereign, being that we are unlikely to carry it out the demands and dictates of our nation because we don't adhere to truth. We think it's something else. And look at how we lie. We are so far out of our natural environment of our own sovereign nationhood. We think, oh, you got to have a flag and all that crazy stuff to be, to be uh, some kind of, none of that to be sovereign. To be sovereign, you must be in truth. You must be in nature. We are natural people. You want your sovereignty? Speak truth all the time. Speak truth all the time, and you are just on that alone, you immediately become sovereign. To make an unsovereign nation sovereign, it must be into its nature. Join your nature, become na national, a national sovereign. And what is your nation? The nation of truth. The nation of nature. That's our nation. We live in truth. We live in, what do you call it? Natural. Natural. Natural, you know, the real world. <laughs> Well, love, be good to yourself. Press the like button. Subscribe. Send this out to people I don't know. 
because this is the, you know what, this is the important thing. Not what I'm saying. Not that you agree with what I'm saying. This is about, who cares? But that you think about the thought of what I'm saying. You do think about the idea that your mind leans to, you hit certain synapses in your brain that haven't been touched. That's what I'm reaching for. I'm not, I don't care about no information and who's wrong. That's garbage. What it is is to open your mind up to thoughts that you have not thought. Thoughts that are beyond the realm of even that inside thought. That, oh, oh, that's cute. Oh, man, he dropping bombs. But all them bombs are inside the box. It's the same box. You're just dropping bombs in the box. The fuck? Huh? Hit them synopsis that you never hit. That's what I'm reaching for. Bring yourself out of that uh, fake world and that illusionary imagination of like something's happening. Nothing's happening in that. Look how many years and decades and stuff of garbage piled on top of garbage and books and readings and arguments and this and that and nothing changed. Ain't nothing move. You want to move something, try to little experiment. Three people, five, I don't care. Three to five people don't make it too big that it just jumbles, jumbles itself up. Three to five people like a family. To do a family, friend, uh, you know, whatever. Make it happen, man. Look at it. See how much power is in it. And watch what happens because it works. And then on that level, we move forward. Let's do this. One love. Become a sovereign.